Students are having an issue with their contact sheet, um, creating columns and rows and not understanding what's what. So columns go from left to right. So if I add these two sticky notes right here, um, I now have two columns, right? So you count the columns from left to right. Rows are from top to bottom. Um, so right now I have one row and two columns. If I were to add some more sticky notes on here, this would make me have two rows and two columns. Even though this column doesn't have anything in here, there's still, it's still part of my second column. So what some students do is they have four images they're wanting to submit. But instead of saying I have four columns and one row, they say I have four rows and one column. So then their images end up like this where they have those four rows and one column and they don't want it to look like that. So make sure you're aware of the columns and rows. The other thing that students have struggled with is getting a canvas that will fit their images appropriately. So let's say this image was five inches wide. Um, I would want five plus five plus five plus five. So that's a total of 5, 10, 15, 20 inches wide. That's how wide I want my canvas to be. And then if we want that little space in between them, just add an extra inch. So if I was having a canvas that was four pictures wide and each picture was five inches wide, I would have it 21 inches. And then if, I had, if these pictures were four inches tall, I would have it four inches plus an inch so that I have space to see the name of my photo. And then that would create a nice canvas. Then I check to see if I have four columns and one row.